Hello, this is Up School Book Reviews, and my name is Graham Brown. If you like this book review, if you like book reviews generally, if you think it's useful, then go ahead to upschoolbookreviews.com slash course and take advantage of my free five book review course where I review five of the top business books to help you become a better entrepreneur, save you time so you don't have to read them. And guess what? If you've read them already, then go ahead and take the course because A, it's free and B, you'll get a lot more out of the books that you have read. Today, we're looking at Launch by Jeff Walker. Now, here's a book which is all about launching a product. And launching a product is possibly one of the most important skills that an internet marketer needs, any entrepreneur needs. If you are using the internet, you want to get your product out to your list, your fans. The problem is with launching is it's hard work. That's the long and short of it. It's hard work and most people do it the wrong way. The problem with launching is this, it's attention. You are just one of thousands of marketing messages that your prospects are bombarded with on a daily basis. I believe that the average American grows up seeing 170,000 marketing messages by her 17th birthday. You're just one of them. So don't take it personally. It basically is because we live in a world of noise. And what that means is that most entrepreneurs end up getting a lot fewer sales than they anticipated, um, despite having a great product or a great offer. And that can be really demotivating, can't it? You know, you spend all your time creating your product only to find no one's buying it. So what do you do? Well, this is where Jeff Walker's book Launch comes in. He claims to have a secret formula to sell almost anything online. And generally, yeah, I'm wary of such promises, but the nub of Jeff Walker's book is genuine. And that is, if you follow his formula, you will increase your sales. So let's have a look at exactly what Jeff Walker's launch formula is and see how we can implement it in our businesses. So Jeff Walker has what is called the PLF or product launch formula and it really is comprised of four stages which I'll talk a bit about in detail here. The pre-pre-launch stage one, then stage two is the pre-launch, then three the launch, four the post-launch, the follow-up. Now, for the purposes of this book review, I'll focus only on the first two stages, which is the pre-pre-launch and then the pre-launch. And those stages really are 90% of the value creation in the product launch formula. Stages three, launch, and stage four, follow-up, are really just cleaning up on what's done already. And it's just a case of following through on the formula. So the key here is stage one, pre-pre-launch, and stage two, pre-launch. So let's have a look at each one of these. Now, the pre-pre-launch is often missed out by entrepreneurs. This is where you build anticipation among fans, and you measure how receptive the market is. And how Jeff Walker does this is he sends out a simple email that makes your fans aware that a launch is coming up. And the goal of the pre-pre-launch is to involve those fans in the process. And the fact is that people are more likely to become cheerleaders and involved in your project as customers if they have some kind of emotional investment in it. So this is under the section page 75 of the book. And this is how it goes. This is his pre-pre-launch email. I'll just read it here so you get an idea. Really quick. Subject, quick announcement and a favor. Hi, Jeff Walker here. We'll be sending you trading update in just a little bit. But first, I need to ask you a favor. We're really close to wrapping up our long-awaited trading manual. We will be releasing it in early January. But before we do, I have to ask you a couple of questions. Can you help us out? You can answer the questions here and get a little more detail on the trading manual at this link, www.example.com. Thanks and best regards, Jeff. Now that's the pre-pre-launch, the purpose of which is to 
build anticipation. This is aimed at fans. So the fans are the ones that are going to buy it. They're the ones who don't mind receiving an email which doesn't have some kind of obvious trade-off, some kind of payback for engaging in the questionnaire because they're fans of your product. They want to find out. They want to be early adopters. They want to get hold of this stuff early before the market gets it so they can share it and talk about it and so on. So that's the pre-pre-launch. Now, in terms of building momentum, if you were to miss out the pre-pre-launch, you miss out a massive you know, amount of momentum that you can create in your launch process because you go straight into the pre-launch cold and your fans haven't warmed up. And psychologically, we need warming up before we get to the stage of either sharing it with our network or buying or even interested in buying stuff. So the pre-pre-launch stage one is key before stage two, the pre-launch. Let's talk a bit about stage two because this is really the core of the product launch formula. And the pre-launch takes place with three pieces of high value content. And Jeff Walker talks about romancing the market with these three pieces of high value content. And the key here is to focus on activating mental triggers. And the triggers that he talks about are social proof, authority, community, anticipation, reciprocity, and so on. He goes into a bit more depth about these mental triggers in the book launch. But the purpose here at this stage is really to identify that these triggers are there and there are certain checkboxes which you need to check off when producing this content. You just can't produce any kind of content, push it out to your market before the launch. You need to push out a specific type of content that follows an arc which checks the box boxes for these mental triggers. Now, what the mental triggers will do is create an emotional connection between your prospects and your product. And where there's no emotional connection, there's really no sell. The only way you can sell without an emotional connection is being the cheapest possible product out there in your category. And that's just a, a commodity game. But the game here is not a commodity. The game is to create an emotional connection. And you do that through activating those emotional triggers now, once you've done that, or as you do that, you create what Jeff Walker calls the sideways sales letter. Now, let me talk about what a sideways sales letter is. It's a drip feed sequence of three emails. Those are those three pieces of high value content that we talked about that tell a story to the reader. Now, stories aren't just once upon a time, but they are an emotional connection between you and your prospects, because we learn through stories. So when somebody tells a story, we become receptive to the content because we're familiar with the process, we're familiar with the content, we're familiar with the whole structure. So it's not like an alien concept to us. Once somebody tells a story, we understand there's a beginning, a middle, and an end, there's a hero, an enemy, and so on. So the three videos that Jeff Walker uses, and he uses videos, you don't have to use videos, you can use any type of content here, are as follows. One, video one, this is where you really understand the reader. You talk about pain points, and in marketing, um, we talk about pain points as the problems or the frustrations that a customer experiences, and this is, you know, resonates with any story arc where problems and frustrations really are represented in the form of the antagonist or the enemy in a story. Now, the point here in this video is you're going to talk about, you understand the frustrations your customer is having. You have the same hopes, dreams, and fears. And the things that you need to talk about are one, how their life is going to change. Two, why they should listen to you. You then teach some value, three. Four, you raise objections, you deal with those objections, and then you tell them in stage five, that a new video is coming, so this is video two, and what they will learn in that video. And then you leave the video, and this is really important, with a call to action. And that call to action is not a call to action to buy the product. That call to action is to leave a comment on the blog or on this email. So it's very simple, but you're getting them to act very low risk, they're not buying, they're not committing to anything. So we go into video two. And remember, video one was all about you understand the reader and the pain points. 
The second one is going down the rabbit hole of inquiry, which is what if they're right? What if the the prospect is right? You know, what if, for example, you're selling some kind of product to help people start a business, but the frustrations that they have are maybe fear of failure, fear of not knowing where to start. Maybe it'll go wrong. Maybe I'm better off in my salary day job. So video two is really, what if they're right? What if they are right about this and they stick out where they are and don't make any change in their life? They stick out the, the salary day job and they don't start their own business. So in video two, you're going to zoom into the doubts and paint a picture of a world where the reader doesn't take your advice. So what you then do is you talk about that scenario and paint that picture. You expand on what will happen and you then use that to expand on their fears. And this is what's going to happen if they don't change. So you really, what you're doing is you're anchoring their current strategy now, which is do nothing with the future pain and increased pain, frustration that they're going to experience by doing nothing. So that's stage one of the video. You, to get there, before you do that, you thank them and recap what happened in video one, which is you understanding their frustrations. You then talk about the zoom into what happens if they're right. You recap the opportunity you recap the positioning of you and what you do and why they should listen to you. And then you present a case study. Now, Jeff Walker calls this teaching. And teaching really sells. This is where you teach the prospect about somebody who, like you, was in that situation, who was thinking about starting a business but didn't start a business and let it go and then become really frustrated. But then you teach the case study, which is that they made the change. They overcame those fears, those objections. And then sixth part of video two is you talk about the top three objections that somebody may have about your product, and then you crush those objections. Finally, you introduce the third video, which is coming up. You build up anticipation for that and what they're going to learn in that third video, the final video. And then the call to action here, once again, the call to action here is not to go and buy the product. The call to action is just a comment. Could be Twitter, could be your Facebook page, could be your blog. So video three, this is the final video before you're going to send them a sales email. So the final video, the third part of these three pieces of high value content and the final part of the story are case studies. This is where you talk about Barry the photographer or Elisa the web designer or John the agency owner. So step one, again, you start off the video by thanking them, increase the excitement, recap the opportunity and the positioning, you know, why do they need to listen to you? Why have you any kind of authority in this field? Then you present the case study. Here's Barry, the photographer. You know, he was doing this before, wanted to start his business. This is what happened when he didn't start his business. He overcame these objections. He did this. Now this is what he's doing and he's happy. Next stage, you talk about the top questions that you've been receiving. So people have been emailing you. You deal with those questions. Some soft objection handling there as well. And then key here is the ultimate transformation. What is the change that's going to happen in your prospect's life that's going to happen as a result of buying your product? That is the ultimate transformation going from, let's say as an example, being a salaried employee, doing other people's work, doing meaningless work, just getting paychecks, you know, seeing the clock tick through the day, waiting for the day to come to an end before they can enjoy life as opposed to somebody who's now doing work that they're passionate about, wakes up feeling motivated, et cetera, et cetera. Then the next step is what Jeff Walker calls a soft landing, which is the next email that you're going to offer, which is the follow on from this transformation. The soft landing is that the next email they're going to receive is going to be the email that's going to enable that transformation in their life, which is the sales email. You're then going to talk about scarcity. So you're going to create this offer for launch, but 
there's some kind of exclusivity in it. It could be, for example, time. You know, for the next two weeks, you can get it for this price. Or for the next three weeks, you can get this bundle with these extra videos and content, exclusive content, and so on. Whatever it is, you're going to give them some kind of scarcity that they feel they're going to miss out. Because people need that kind of compulsion to act, even if they want the product. In many cases, people feel that they want to get a deal before they can act. And then the call to action here, once again, the call to action here is not to buy the product. It's a comment. As we said before, could be Facebook, could be Twitter, could be on the blog. So the big day comes, the sales email. So this is on page 104 of Jeff Walker's launch. And it is really simple, the sales email. It's real straightforward not as complicated as it should be because you've done all the selling already now it's just a case of them clicking the link so this is what a sales email looks like okay i've just opened up registration for product launch formula we're now live click here for product launch formula www.productlaunchformula.com i've opened it up a bit early to avoid any bottlenecks and spread the load on the server best regards jeff P.S. And by the way, P.S.'s in your emails are often the most read part of the email. P.S. Remember, you don't need to panic. I don't expect to sell out immediately. However, if you want one of those spots at my PLF live workshop, then please don't delay. They're going to go fast. Here's the link. Click here for the product launch formula. www.productlaunchformula.com And that's it. That is the product launch formula by Jeff Walker. Those are the first two opening steps. The pre-pre-launch, the pre-launch. The launch is when you send out that sales email and the follow-up, the post-launch is really just a case of going back to the people who haven't um, bought the product, who may have opened the email, may have clicked, but didn't follow through and following up with those people. Very straightforward. So that is Jeff Walker, and he has shared with us his secret formula to sell almost anything online in the book launch. I think it's a good book. It really just lays out the steps you need to follow for launching any kind of product online. Um, I don't think it's necessarily rocket science, and I don't think it's necessarily revelationary. But however, often it's doing simple things and doing them well that makes a big difference in growing your business. So I thoroughly recommend this book, if only just to follow the process and think about your process, because a lot of people don't have a process. A lot of people simply go out and launch the product, which, you know, they start at sales stage three, which is launch or maybe pre-launch, and they forget about the pre-pre-launch as well. So my name's Graham Brown. You've been listening to Upschool Book Reviews. And if you like this book review, if you find it useful, I recommend you go and check out my free course over at upschoolbookreviews.com slash course where you can get access to five free book reviews. The top five books I believe will help you become a better entrepreneur, all free. Go and check that out. You can complete that course in an hour. I save you time so you don't have to read those books. And if you have read those books, that's fantastic. Go and take the course anyway because you can get more out of them. My name's Graham Brown. This is Upschool Book Reviews.